Right, and here we are, we've left the campus now, and here we are in an everyday Kentish street, except we're not. No, we're here on the, uh, the town or the street scene within Kent Police College, and you'll see here there are a number of buildings which our student officers and current employees can use to continue their development throughout our organisation and, in, and indeed practice before they go out onto the street live. So up next we're at the street and we're going to recreate a scenario to see how Kent Police handle victims and witnesses and that sort of thing. Yeah. Come on then, let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's sunny, isn't it? It's Look. lovely and sunny. Hang on, let me put my glasses on. All right. Oh, I haven't got them. Hang on. Can you hold that for me? I'm just going to... Just have that. Yeah. Hey! 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 All right, ready. Where's he gone? Gary? What are you doing? Some bloke just took your bag. Took my bag? Some bloke just grabbed it. For what? what? He's running. I don't know where he's gone. He's where did he come from? I don't know, he's over there. And he just came out of nowhere. He's just, he's gone. What are we going to do? We have to call the police. This way, fellas. Babe, the police are here. Oh, OK. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 So, you had your bag taken, is that right? Mm, yeah. Okay, what happened? Well, I was actually in the house. I forgot my sunglasses, yeah. so I ran in to get them and then left you with the bag and came yeah. back and... Yeah, and uh, I got a message on my phone. I put it down for a split second and before I knew it, there was someone come up beside me and grabbed it and was up the road and around the corner before I couldn't even really think what was going on. They were just gone. Okay. Uh, what did this man look like? He was a reddish T-shirt he was wearing in jeans. Uh, Maybe like a chunky, stocky kind of build, mm -hmm. uh, and probably about six foot, maybe a bit more. Can you tell us what the handbag looked like? It was a blue backpack with a pocket on the front, gold zip detail, uh, two handles, about this big. Was like it not uh, massive? Um, manufa like, make it or? was only from Monsoon, okay. so Monsoon accessorised. So mm -hmm. what are the next steps? What will, will we hear from you? Do you need us to ring up? Like, um, we'll have the report will get created, yeah. um, and it will get allocated an officer investigating it, um, which will more than likely be us anyway, and we'll follow the, the lines of inquiry. So if we get, obviously, fast times, track the phone, we can see if we can find the phone, if it's still with him. Uh, if it turns into something slower, then it will be, we'll try and identify him uh, do some inquiries in the local shops because obviously you live opposite a, a pub and stuff. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, yeah. The, the CCTV might cover it. You know, yeah. so it's inquiries that we can do uh, essentially to try and get the best outcome for you. So you can probably tell we're not really great actors, but in a way we didn't have to be because it felt really real from the moment we were out in the street um, to being back in the house with the policemen when they came in. It felt really real. Um, they gave a great vibe as soon as they got there. They were really reassuring, just a great presence as soon as they arrived in the street. Um, they got straight to the chase, really. Mm -hmm. There was no working around. They got the information they needed very quickly. Um, they focused on us as victims rather than, you know, what might have been in the bag and stuff. Obviously, that was important. But they were really seemed concerned with how we were, how we were feeling. Did we feel like we were going to be safe? They reassured us. And I think they gave us real confidence that mm -hmm. it was all going to be OK, if you like. Yeah, and as well as being real for us, I think that's what's really important. The students who are at the college, it is a real situation for them. And that's a great way of training them before they're actually out on the street. And another thing that I really noticed when we watched that back is the use of technology. Yeah. Like the officer was out on his phone. He was using his phone to put information in. Instead of like using a notebook and pad, yeah. it means that then that information is there straight away they can be sending that off straight away it's a lot quicker and it also means that they can be doing like crime reports cctv yeah. using all that technology camera going here. that's it yeah all using that stuff, technology yeah. to their advantage it was really really good yeah i think all that combined it, if you're a student coming into that situation i think you really would get a really fantastic idea of how it would work in mm. the, out in the real world as yeah, well. Yeah, and that real like first class service, that was what we really felt like we got. So what do you reckon? Could you be a police constable? Find out if you can be more than the badge at kent.police.uk forward slash officers.